if I record and let you focus, camera. Welcome to my fantastic kitchen today. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing these two pans. Uh, one on the left is one that I bought at a local thrift store for about a dollar. Uh, this one is one that I bought from Target for about $29.99. Okay, for this test, we're going to actually cook something in the pan for it to uh, show how great it is at cooking hash browns. So, to start, you uh, grind away at your potato here. And always compost. And full into each pan. Alright, so here it's pretty obvious to tell. This pan kind of sucks. This guy, no sticking action going on. That's gonna be pretty good. So like any good college student, it took me a very long time to actually go about and clean these guys. Uh, this is later tonight. Um, I made this stuff during the day. As you see from this pan, uh, it's pretty clean. Um, you know, sure it's not aesthetically pleasing, but I mean, it still looks pretty clean. Let's go over to this guy though, and um, as you see, there's multiple brown specks. I uh, will zoom in there. Uh, that's actually from stuff burning to it. And yeah, this pan is really, really just not fun to clean. Uh, it took me a long time to clean this guy. Um, so, real huge pain in the butt. Alright, so, good morning here. Um, like any good journalist, I did some research here and I realized that I am 100% incorrect. This pan, when I bought it, it came non-stick. So, this pan is non-stick. Um, but this guy... Um, is a stainless steel pan, so it is not non-stick. I haven't treated it to be non-stick, so I'm the idiot. Yeah. Go Millennials. So if you want to avoid a, a terrible mishap like this, and uh, you're supposed to treat stainless steel pans with some type of oil, uh, cooking it off, uh, and then it becomes non-stick. There are multiple ways to do this, and I will link that in the description. Um, but yeah, so I guess if anything, this would just be a review on how not to use a stainless steel pan. This one's cheap, you're not going to care about it as much, plus it comes out of the package completely ready to use. Um, some cons about it is probably going to be durability, and um, ultimately it doesn't look as nice. Um, you're going to have the pros still being that uh, it looks nice, uh, probably has better durability since it's uh, stainless steel. Um, Ultimately though, it does take longer to set up, uh, and it is also not usable without setup, which is something I learned firsthand. This pan's probably not that bad, but still it's expensive. This one isn't. Buy that one. Alright, so now for our final little test of the pans here, uh, we're going to be whipping up this recipe called uh, a college career. The first thing as you see here, uh, this is going to be your hopes and dreams. Um, and then the next ingredient kind of uh, gets rid of that. These are uh, actual college professors. You just kind of forget about that. Uh, and then this, this white stuff is um, energy. Um, this over time gets replaced and it gets just smaller with time progression. Uh, it gets replaced by coffee, energy drinks. Of course, for any good college career, you're going to need some broccoli um, for that time when you're a sophomore and you decide you want to be a vegetarian. Uh, I, I don't make the recipes, that's just what it calls for. Um, and then, of course, you're going to need some money. Um, notice this is the biggest ingredient you'll need. Um, you'll need this for tuition, uh, rent. And then some people um, aren't happy with everything here, and they want to... Um, um, so we have waited the time necessary for uh, our college careers to cook up and produce some good stuff. Let's just look at this pan right here. Um, and watch out, it is hot. Uh, let's just check this out. Um, yeah, from the looks of this, this is actually um, 
a precious metal here. Uh, it looks like silver, um, which I mean is, is pretty good. Um, I, I think you have uh, some value here. Uh, you can go off into the real world and really um, you know, make your way of it. Um, anyways, that, that's really good. That's good stuff right there. Good job, Pan. Let's just see what the other pan has produced. Oh, no. Um, it looks like this pan has produced Shamu. Um, probably crying from the terrible conditions of being in this pan. Um, orca whales don't like living in frying pans. Um, gosh, this is a huge ethical dilemma. Um, let's free him. Um, let's take him. Let's take him away. Uh, bad pan.